Hi there, this is Lizzie Jones, and today I'm going to show you how to create a faux fresco look on your paper crafting projects. So we're starting today with some embossing paste. It's just a piece of white cardstock and white embossing paste. I'm using the Wendy Vecchi, um, but there are plenty of others out there. Also, I'm using a palette knife to spread it thin. You want it to be fairly thin. Uh, you can also use an old um, gift card for this step. You want to make sure that it looks like stucco or plaster. Uh, give it a nice texture but smooth enough that you'll be able to go over it and stamp on it in the next step. Now that that's dry we're going to use the Botanical Blocks Sunflower Image with some Palette Noir ink. I'm going to be watercoloring today, so I'm using the Noir ink, um, but you should use whatever uh, ink works best with your coloring medium of choice. I'm going to go ahead and give it a nice firm pressure to make sure that my whole image transfers. And then we're just going to go ahead and fill in with our coloring medium. The uh, embossing paste is going to give you some really interesting texture. Some areas will take color differently than others. You're going to uh, find that throughout your surface. Um, and you just got to embrace the, uh, the way that it, it's going to change from one section to another. Keep in mind that we're trying to uh, replicate the the style of, of old weathered frescoes so it's really okay that not everything looks exactly the same it's also okay that it's not perfect you just want to get in there and give it a little bit of color fill in all the little spots I also wanted to sort of achieve that softened look that you get with old weathered frescoes. So I'm going to go ahead and blot this off here to soften the colors just a little bit. And then I'm going to heat set in between colors just to make sure that my colors don't run together and get muddy. With the embossing paste, um, the the wetness doesn't dry out very quickly. It doesn't, it really keeps moisture at the surface. So if you're using a really wet medium, be prepared to to get as get rid of as much of that that moisture as possible. Here I'm just going through with a yellow, adding a little bit of shading as I go. Just trying to fill in a little. Going back in here now with a green similar to ripe avocado and you can see there the different textures that you're going to, to pick up with your your inking or your coloring got a dark brown which felt a little bit cool to me so I went in and blended in a little bit of gold which also gave a really great shimmer and there's the finished piece so now I'm going to work on the card base I've got the mosaic border from the uh, Stamp Affair Ancient Rome mini stamp set. I've got it on a lined block which really helps make sure that everything is straight. I'm going to do a couple of lines here but I just wanted to show you uh, the first few impressions so you can see how it goes together doing this with a ripe avocado ink on a craft card base. I'm going to go back in here with the little ring, mosaic ring, same uh, ink, same ripe avocado ink. 
I wanted to make sure that the finished pattern wouldn't be too busy to take away from the sunflower, but you could always use uh, two inks if you wanted to make it a little bit bolder. I've trimmed out my sunflower and I'm going to, to mat it with this dark chocolate piece here. It'll give it a little extra visual weight and help it really stand out against that pattern. I adhered it with my ATG. And there we go. Nice and stuck. Now I'm just putting it, just placing it on the card base for now. Um, I've got to stamp my sentiment. I'm going to use a dark chocolate for that. Uh, the sentiment is also from that same botanical box stamp set. I don't want to adhere down my sunflower yet because it's the most labor intensive part of my project. So if I mess up my sentiment, I don't want to have to do it again. So I'm just going to stamp that there below the sunflower. And now I'm going to go in with some foam tape on the back of the sunflower and get that mounted onto the card base. Make sure it's nice and straight and secure it down and we're all done. So there you have that beautifully textured fresco appearance on your sunflower there in the, the on this card. Now on this next sample we've got a variation using solid stamps. This is a pattern paper from the Stamp Affair Ancient Rome mini kit. I've coated it with um, embossing paste that's been tinted with classic craft reinker. Here I've stamped the egg and dart in, in pine feather ink, placed a piece of Ocean Tides cardstock with a window cut out. I'm going to stamp my laurel there in the window along with my urn. Now here you'll see when I lift the stamp, that's that texture that you're getting is going to give you variations in how well uh, the image shows up. So you can give firm pressure or you can just embrace the texture. Now here I've got my sentiment on a banner there. I've adhered down my ocean tides. I've added my sentiment with some foam tape. And there we go, a nice simple masculine design using a variation on the faux fresco technique. That's all for the faux frescoes today. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm Lizzie Jones for Paper Tray Inc. and I hope you're having a wonderful Stamp Affair day.